would you be able to give fans an update of how you're passing the time and, and what you're doing to keep yourself safe? Yeah, it's actually, um, yeah, a really tough time for everybody in the world right now. We're all trying to stay strong and stay safe first and foremost. And I'm here in our Connecticut house with my two daughters, Monica and Aspen, and my twin sister, Stacy. And, you know, we're coping with new ways of, um, you know, all being inside a lot more than normal. Um, we're home, we're doing um, some fun things all together, cooking, baking, um, doing fun yoga exercises. Uh, we fortunately live on a really nice cul-de-sac here in Connecticut, so we're able to kind of, you know, go outside for a little walk, get some fresh air, the kids can ride their little skateboards and bikes around or go for a little quick jog. So, you know, little things like that, you know, kind of help us kind of cope with everything in the moment, yeah. Yeah, and then also you're gonna be part of the new limited series, 90 Day Fiance Self Quarantine. What is that kind of process gonna be like? Yeah, I uh, got asked to do the new um, spinoff, the quarantine show, and I'm really excited for that. I mean, I think it's really going to be relatable for all the viewers, because we're all in the same boat. And, you know, it kind of will give everybody a glimpse of, you know, what our world is like and how we're dealing with everything from, you know, um, daily routines, um, you know, you know, and just, you know, learning how to um, understand what's happening with the, with everybody, you know. Um, it's kind of a scary time right now because nobody really knows the outcome of everything. So your life pretty much is on hold at the moment. I mean, I had a lot of things in the works, travel and uh, work stuff as well. So that's been a little bit on hold um, for, um, you know, just things that I had planned to go back to LA with my kids. Um, so there's, there's a lot of things that I wanted to do in this moment, but because of what's happening, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's making you still and grounded, but, um, you know, in a, in a, in a sense, it gives you time to kind of heal and just really plan things accordingly and just, you know, honor, honor what's really the most important, which is family. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah. And then, um, kind of making the turn to 90 day. Um, so the most recent episode, it was pretty intense for you. Um, what was going through your head kind of when that scene was unfolding? Right. Um, that was a big, big, um, day for me in general for the relationship and you know to share my journey with the viewers because you know as everyone knows I wear my heart on my sleeve and I was just tired of not getting the answers that I felt like I deserved from Tom and there was a lot of miscommunication there was a lot of lack of communication I feel so more more so on his part so I just wanted some answers and there was obviously, you know, I knew some things that he didn't open up about. So I was kind of waiting for him to say it. I didn't want to like, you know, I wasn't there to try to make anyone feel uncomfortable or I, you know, believed he wasn't trying to do the same thing, but you know, I really, I really felt hurt in that moment and just really wanted to know what was going on. I don't want to be treated like a fool, A. Um, I don't want to be lied to and or manipulated so I felt like I needed to be in my power position and I didn't want him to feel like he could take that power away by like you know saying that I never listen to him which was a lie because I always been there for him and I've always done so much for him um I just really feel like I never got that same respect in return and I just had it I was like at that point where I was just like no I'm not going to take this anymore I'm going to stay on my ground feel empowered for myself and you know for for my daughters too because if this was the man I was gonna be with you know because we did have something good but it just it wasn't I guess it wasn't meant to be and I just I needed to know that um I was gonna stay on my ground and and not get taken advantage of anymore yeah and then a lot of fans were really rallying behind you last night I saw you reposting a lot of their messages mm -hmm. What's it like knowing that this intense fan base will always have your back you know what, I, I'm very grateful for the fans and I'm glad that they got to see my side of the journey and story. Um, you know, there was a lot to the relationship that people didn't really get to see all the time, but I really gave it my all. You know, he was a great friend, someone I've known for many, many years and was there for me, you know, after the breakup with Jesse and we really bonded and had a romantic connection. And for, um, for him just to kind of, I feel like say things that I felt he didn't really mean and I it's just like I was just I was really confused for a while um you know the relationship was a little up and down at times and you know I felt like I deserved more you know mm. especially because we were such good friends and I just started to realize like you know if he's if he really does love me you don't treat somebody like that yeah you know 
and then, I was very grateful for the fans to yeah have my back and and root for me um you know I do get a lot of like hate online and stuff like that but you know I just ignore that and I I felt grateful that they could kind of understand you know what I have went through because it was hurtful it was very hurtful and I am not here to be played for a fool in relationships I want love like everybody else and I, I knew he lied so I was just like not going to chastise him for it but I don't need to be treated that way mm-hmm. definitely um and what would you say is the biggest thing that you've learned from your relationship with Tom uh, the biggest thing I learned um, from my relationship with Tom was, you know, self-love, you know, love yourself first. And, um, you know, you can be open, you can be giving to a person, but I do realize now, you know, that I should have, you know, told him what I want out of a relationship more so than not. I was always kind of a yes person. I was a big giver in that relationship. And I think at times he did take advantage and I think he, he knew that deep down inside. Mm-hmm. So I learned, you know, not you know, to do that in relationships anymore because I do deserve better and you're giving your power away in a sense. Um, and it just, it, if it's not reciprocal or it feels right anymore, you just have to listen to your gut. And that's what I was doing in that moment. I wanted to feel empowered for myself and honor the love that I have for me because, you know, it's not going to work if, if you don't love yourself first too. So I learned to, to feel more empowered. And then if you could go back, would, would there be anything that you'd change maybe, or are you just, the past is in the past? For me, I like to say the past is in the past. Um, I don't regret anything that happened um, in, that, in that episode, that scene, or that time in life with Tom. Um, I just wanted a little bit more respect and communication. I mean, when you say you love somebody, and he was still saying that. And I mean, I remember on my way to Malta with my sister for our birthday, we wanted to celebrate together. You know, it was, it was very hurtful when he didn't really call, like he promised he was going to call FaceTime for my birthday. I waited all day and all night. And, you know, I was, I was there for him for his birthday. You know, I was in um, England when I went to go see him soon after his birthday, but, you know, I wished him happy birthday when it was his birthday and, you know, I even bought him some stuff in England. I remember we went shopping and it was just like, it was like a slap in the face. It was a little bit of a low blow. And it was just like a a lot of little things over a period of time that I felt like he was doing that just didn't show his love. And I didn't want to have to keep questioning that. It was like I was getting dangled by a string. He was dangling Darcy and I didn't like it. And was, was, would you say that maybe that birthday text message was the first major, like, red flag that things were kind of going in the wrong direction? Well, you know, because we try to give it another go, especially after the tell-all and stuff. And um, he was in, you know, the States for a little bit for that. And then he went back, and we were going to give it another go. So it was like, you know, I wasn't chasing him, you know, for communication. It was just he was just very distant. And I'm like, well, that's weird because – he was saying how he wanted to make plans to come visit me and the kids in Connecticut for a while. And it just never happened. It was just, I was getting different stories. Every time he went back, it was a different story. And, you know, when you're with somebody, you want to plan it and you want to, you know, just continue communicating because that's very important in relationships. And I feel like there was lack of that. You know what? I am focused on me and my girls because, you know, family's first and foremost always. And I'm in a really great place right now. I'm really happy. I'm feeling strong. You know, I'm working on my revenge body, you know, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. And for him to make that comment about my weight was unacceptable. I was shocked. Yes. Yes. I was shocked too. And I was just like, wow, like who says that to somebody, especially if you're supposed to care for that person. He expected me to go there to like work on a relationship. Like there wasn't, it was like, you don't treat someone like that. That's like a double like slap in the face, you know, like awful, awful, awful. It was the worst feeling ever. And it just, you know, no one ever wants to feel like insecure about their body or their self. So for him to kind of, you know, throw that in my face, it was, it was unnecessary, very unnecessary. You've kind of become one of the OG cast members of 90 Day. Lots of fans love you. Um, But what advice would you give to some of the new couples on how to handle online criticism? Yeah, you know what? We just have to really stay strong and own your own worth. Don't let anyone try to say anything negative to you or about you. A lot of rumors get spread. They're not even true. It's just a bunch of like 
just negativity that nobody should have in their life, especially now with what's going on in the, in the world. So, you know, my tactic is I just, I ignore it because otherwise it just fuels everyone's fire. And it's just, I try to just like nip it in the butt and um, not really respond to it. You know, I'll respond to, you know, positive people and stuff like that. Um, but I, I read that negativity. I don't want it in relationships and I don't want it from social media as well. Um, I'll stand my ground for myself and I know who I am. My family knows who I am. And that's all that matters in the end.